Good morning, I'm Marco Neto. Uh, I love boating, I love the sea, and uh, every year I go up to Alaska with my boat. And I go even in places where La Perouse, the man of the painting, uh, has, has been. And that's why I'm here today to speak about this painting and my link with it. La Perouse for France is a bit the equivalent of Captain Cook for United Kingdom. So we all learn about him in history, but I reconnected with him uh, in America, in fact. When I visited the mission in Carmel, uh, I discovered on the bookstore there an extract of the logbook of La Perouse. And then I discovered that he had been all over uh, our coast here. And then I, as I went up to north, I did some research and tried to go to know where he had been. And I have, have had the opportunity to go two or three places where he was physically in 1786. This painting is in fact uh, very good when you think about the fact that the painter only had a sketch from the logbook and some description uh, to paint that. He had never seen it. Uh, I've seen it, I've been there. And honestly, I mean, this is not a bad painting. Uh, particularly the middle glacier here is perfectly in place. These mountains are a bit too dramatic, but they're really there. In fact, by the way, this is Mount La Perouse now. Um, and, and the positioning of the island, for example, and, and this, the bluff and the island, that's exactly true. Uh, all this source allowed the painter to represent pretty faithfully the first boat that is already taken by the storm. And you can see that the boat is now breaking down. And then the second boat would try to save the first boat and came in and the two brothers, which were two officers commanding that boat, trying to save these people. In fact, they did not manage to save the other boat, but even they lost their own boat. And there was a total of 21 people killed. And so what he did is he instructed the, the officer that was in charge of this boat, who was doing soundings because La Perouse was um, in charge of a maritime expedition and the role of an explorer is to discover for the world what you're finding. And one of the things, of course, very important for navigation is what's the depth there. Uh, so he instructed this uh, boat to go and do uh, soundings, but he did tell the officer not to approach the pass before 7 a.m. because he knew that uh, before 7 a.m. there was ebbing current and it was dangerous. This young officer made a mistake, uh, went too close and was taken by the current. They could not row against it. It was so strong and was therefore drawn into the breakers. And that's what happened and, and that's the, the natural phenomena which create, which is the root cause of the drama.